My whole family are school teachers. They all save this garbage. They save this garbage. And I keep telling them, why don't you buy one of these? Oh, no, 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 I want one of these. Right. The so, problem isn't gold, silver, and Bitcoin. The problem is school, stupid school teachers telling kids to save this garbage. I think that's probably the most important question all of us, <clears throat> whether you're real estate, gold, silver, Bitcoin, or you know, Ethereum, or whatever it is. The question is, when does it go to FedCoin? When does, when does a dollar become Bitcoin? And the reason that's important because that's how I've been tracking a lot on. <clears throat> right now, it's called the transmission mechanism. The way the money gets into the economy is they need people like me, entrepreneurs basically, who can borrow large sums of money. So $160 million we borrowed, signed a paper to it. That meant $160 million was created out of thin air. So us entrepreneurs go in there, we create $160 million, but the banks give it to us, guys like Goldman Sachs or, or Wells Fargo or Bank of America. That money is just created out of thin air and it's pumped into the economy. The problem is the current transmission system only re rewards people like me real entrepreneurs who can handle large sums of debt. You see, without people like me who borrow money or the CEOs who borrow money to buy back their stock, money doesn't exist. So the people who are whining and complaining, you know, mostly school teachers, they're saying, well, how come the rich are getting richer? Well, they don't understand the truck, the transmission mechanism, <clears throat> excuse me, of money. So I have to borrow money for it to come into existence. And most school teachers can't even afford a credit card. So if all you have is a credit card, they don't need you. And then they're gonna charge you exorbitant rates for that stupid credit card. Or they're punishing kids with student loan debt or payday loans. So the transmission mechanism is the current banking system, Wells Fargo, well, uh, the hedge funds and all that. If it goes to Fed coin or Euro coin or Yuan coin or Yen coin, the banks are gone. Well, Orwell wrote a book about it. It was called 1984. You know, it's the big brother is watching. That's where it's going. And so that's why I kind of, and I'm, I'm guessing, you know, right now I, I can, I can tell you the price of this. It's probably 30 bucks silver uh, Eagle, if he could find one, <laughs> but the thing that uh, if they go to the central banking system, this becomes more valuable. Right. But so does Bitcoin. So what I'm what I'm saying to the Bitcoiners, because I, I just tease them too, like I tease everybody. You know, I'm teasing the bankers right now. Uh, I say you Bitcoiners are just peeing in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the, the financial market is so big. Look at the bond market. Look at the derivatives market. And these guys are yakking about a little Bitcoin. I'm going, grow up, little kids. So the point here is this, though. If it goes to, let's say, and, and I'm not saying it is. If it does, the, set, the transmission system is taken out. But this and Bitcoin become more valuable because it's outside the system. What is untraceable that's valuable? That's the question. So lately I've not been winning any fans with the liberals, but I, I would say four things I have been buying all the years I've been talking to you, gold, silver, Bitcoin, and bullets. I have made more money on bullets now because I, I am a Marine. You know, I, I fought in Vietnam twice. I carry full automatic weapons. I don't carry an assault weapon. I carry a machine gun. And legally, they're called class threes. So all these years I've been buying machine guns. And the trouble with the machine guns, they eat a lot of bullets. You know what I mean? I mean, a Glock 19 or whatever one of those guys carry, the gangbangers carry, you might fire eight bullets in a minute. My machine guns, I've stepped them up from 850 rounds a minute to 1100 rounds a minute. So I was going through ammo at high rates of speed. So I would go to the gun shows 20 years ago and I buy pallets of ammunition. Today, I look like a genius. <laughs> you can't buy bullets either. And now they want to register them. Now they want to put some kind of doge, or some mark on every bullet so they know who, who killed who.
And the thing is, is what has value that's not traceable? That's the question. That is really the question today. So that's, if it goes to Fed coin or Euro coin or El Salvador coin, what will have valuable no matter what and is untraceable by technology? Last night I was having dinner with a friend of mine. She lost everything. Her, uh, I, don't, I don't understand how she stored it, but she's upset. She had 700,000 in it. Well, it wasn't her, it was fake money anyway. But she said, now I'm broke. Somebody took her wallet or something and she can't find it. So she went to the Phoenix Police Department and they said, what? You want us to look for a piece of electronic money? <laughs> <laughs> I, that, yeah, absolute truth. That was last night. I'm talking to her. She's crying her eyes out. She said, now what do I do? I said, I don't know. You should have bought some silver. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I, that's why I pay attention to Bitcoin. Now, the thing I say, I was on Maria Bartram the other day. I said, buy something. And when you buy something, your intelligence goes up. But right now you're sitting on the sidelines. It was a Dogecoin is this and the, well, you don't know anything. So just buy something and then your intelligence increases. Exactly. That's, that's about all I can say to people. Buy something, start, figure it out. But I would prefer gold because this is God's money. Silver is God's money. And this is getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer because it's used in technology. And this stuff doesn't get scarcer, but it's going into hoarding now. So that's, that's why I say it's booms, bust, or mania. We're hitting mania right now, Daniel, mania. And our school teachers are still telling kids, oh, this is 10, someday the government will pay $10 million. That's how stupid school teachers are. My whole family are school teachers. They all save this garbage. They save this garbage. And I keep telling them, why don't you buy one of these? Oh, no, 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 I want one of these. Right. The so, problem isn't gold, silver, and Bitcoin. The problem is school, stupid school teachers telling kids to save this garbage. Well, a, again, the, the real problem is the Fed, the Treasury, Biden, and Wall Street. Because you know, they all work together. The question is, and you step back and look at it, if we don't have inflation, we have depression. So they're terrified right now. They have got to do everything possible to pump as much money in to keep this fake balloon floating. That's why it's booms, busts, or mania. So this trying to keep this hot air balloon in the sky. If there is deflation, this thing comes down. So they're pumping as much hot air into this balloon as possible. So is there gonna be inflation? Well, think about it this way. If there isn't, it's, it's what records has been calling for, the biggest depression.